Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about data URLs and why you should use them. Okay, so of course the first question is uh, what exactly are these data URLs? Well, these data URLs are simply just a text representation of a file, typically an image. Okay, so this text representation or form is the actual data URL and you can use them in many places where a typical standard URL can be used. For example, things like HTML image tags inside the source attribute as well as many CSS properties, for example, the background dash image property. Okay, so the browser knows how to read and display those images or files. So when should you use data URLs? Well, just a quick heads up, you probably want to stay away from larger files when it comes to data URLs and that is because a data URL is always going to be larger than the binary counterpart. So try and stick to small files when it comes to data URLs. Now what is the main advantage of using data URLs? Well, in my opinion, the main advantage is the fact that they are text based and everyone knows that text is much easier to work with compared to binary. So you can pass around data URLs inside JSON responses or pretty much anything that is supported by text and that right there is probably the main benefit. Okay, so for example, you can do things like generate uh, avatars or labels on the, on the server side and then send that back in a JSON response to the client as opposed to, for example, uploading those avatars or those labels um, to some sort of file uh, file sharing service or file storage service, um, it's going to save you time and probably a lot of stress. Okay, so that is uh, definitely a huge advantage of using data URLs. Another advantage is going to be on the client side. So you can actually speed up your applications by using client side JavaScript to work with data URLs. For example, if you've got this, uh, this file upload form and when the user selects an image, if you want to display that preview to the user, you can do so using data URLs and we're going to see a code example of this very shortly. So what do data URLs look like? Well, they're actually made up of four separate parts. So the first part here is going to be simply just data colon and this is always going to be there. The second part is going to be the, um, the actual content type or MIME type of the data contained within the URL. And this here is typically going to be something like image slash JPEG or image slash PNG. Now, you probably are wondering why are we always talking about images when data URLs are around files? Well, the main reason is uh, many examples on the internet are going to be talking about images when it comes to data URLs because of course that is a main uh, that is that is a main benefit of using data URLs. Okay, so um, but just keep in mind that uh, data URLs can be used for many files, not just images. The third part of the data URL is going to be simply just base64, and this will be here most of the time. And essentially, it just means that the text following it is going to be encoded using base64. And this brings us to the final part that is going to be the um, the base64. Uh, string of the actual data. So it's going to be the binary data encoded into base64 and that is the main chunk of the URL. Now let's have a look at a few code examples. So the first example right here, I've got a file input field and I'm just saying when the user selects a file in the actual field itself, we're going to be creating a file reader. And this file reader is going to simply uh, give us the ability to take a file object and then convert it into a data URL. On the second line, we are simply just grabbing that image which the user has selected from the file input field. On the last line, we're going to go to the middle line very shortly, but on the last line, we are simply saying file reader, we're going to read as data URL and of course pass through that image object. Okay, and then on the middle section, we're just saying once the file reader has successfully uh, converted our file into a data URL, we're going to simply console.log that file reader result right there and then. In the console, we're going to have the data URL. And that is the, um, the file preview example. If you want to see my full video tutorial on that, on that preview file image in a file upload form, um, you can do so. I'll leave a link to that in the top right or in the description below.
Now the next example right here is going to be to do with HTML5 canvases. So this right here, you can actually take an HTML5 canvas drawing and then convert it to a data URL. So we can see here, I'm saying canvas.2 data URL and passing through here the content type image slash JPEG or image slash PNG and it is that easy. And that right there is data URLs. Like I said, I've got plenty of videos on my channel uh, related to data URLs and how you can use them. So if you want to learn some more stuff, definitely check those out. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.